Uh, so my name is Dr Vaughan Bell and I'm a senior clinical lecturer here at UCL and I'm the deputy course director. Um, I'm also involved in coordinating the research projects and one of the module conveners for the neuroscience module. Well, in my clinical role, I'm a clinical psychologist. I work in a specialist psychosis service um, and I'm particularly interested in working with people who have psychosis plus um, neurological difficulties. Um, this directly feeds into some of my work on the MSc because uh, I'm involved in the neuroscience module but I'm also involved in teaching some of the clinical topics that uh, students are particularly interested in. In my job I spend a lot of my time taking the research, taking some of the latest findings and trying to apply that for the best possible care and treatment for the patients I work with um, and that's exactly what we're encouraging students to do. So actually a lot of my teaching role is partly to pass on the knowledge we have through academic research but also partly to pass on some of my experience of how that actually applies when you're working in a clinical role. We also tend to do seminars on career development, we tend to do seminars on actually you know, what it's like being a clinical researcher or a clinician really to open people's eyes up to the many career possibilities in the future and hopefully give people a good realistic understanding of actually what some of these roles are like, some of the joys but also some of the frustrations. Well the good thing about this MSc is it really tries to combine the best of research in mental health and integrate it fully into what we know about clinical practice. Um, this is not just a kind of theoretical approach, we really make the effort to make sure the students can see what mental health is in practice and understand the evidence base it works on. And so this, this course not only involves academic teaching, it involves research, contributing to genuine advances in mental health, as well as clinical placements where people can see mental health, uh, mental health care as it's conducted in clinical services. So uh, one of the main things I do to support students is obviously uh, teach. But as part of that, I supervise project students and I'm also a personal tutor. And those roles are slightly different. So in terms of supporting students in a module I may be teaching on, that may be much more to do with shaping people's understanding, guiding people to sometimes new ways of learning, sometimes uh, kind of new avenues in terms of understanding academic literature. In terms of project, it's much more about developing people's skills. A lot of the students we have are kind of very knowledgeable, very able, but for example, they may not be familiar with some of the research methods. And so working with someone on a project is really exciting because you're not only seeing their knowledge develop, but you're also seeing some of their skills and abilities to be a researcher develop. In terms of a personal tutor, it's really a role about helping people in the broadest sense in terms of them being a student. And some of these can be some of the academic challenges which everybody has as a student, but of course there are a lot more challenges in being a student than just completing the work. Things like housing, things like stresses of being away from a family sometimes for some of our foreign students can be a really important part of the student experience. And as a personal tutor, my role is to help people as best as possible get the most out of being an MSc student here um, and that encompasses the whole kind of range of what they're doing um, including things outside the course. So the students here do research projects on a whole range of things actually. One of the good things about UCL is we have a massive diversity of researchers here. So for example, students have done past projects on um, psychiatric genetics, looking into some of the genetic basis and predictors of psychiatric conditions. People have done qualitative research looking at the experience of people with mental health problems as they come in contact with mental health services and some of the benefits and indeed some of the difficulties they face. We do experimental psychology, trying to understand some of the mechanisms of mental health problems. We also do a lot of epidemiology, a lot of neuroscience. I mean, one of the great things about um, our department in the wider UCL context is that we can offer projects on pretty much every aspect of mental health science. So um, pretty much anyone can supervise a student's project 
as long as they are an established researcher. Um, everybody has two supervisors, one of which is always in our division to make sure that that project fulfills all of the requirements of the MSC and to make sure it's running to plan. But actually, um, a lot of people have another supervisor based in the division. Some people have supervisors and work with external researchers from other universities, from clinical services, from a whole range of places actually. Um, so we try and make it as inclusive as possible. Uh, students don't have to think of their own projects, although we're more than welcome to take suggestions. And some of the projects people do every year are the ones that people have found on their own, sought out a supervisor with their own idea and developed. However, we make sure every year that there is a list of offered projects from all of the supervisors within and outside our division for which students can contact and choose and take part in if they so wish. So the way you can go about completing your project um, depends a little bit on your own interests, but we offer a whole range of different types of projects. So some people might want to go and do systematic reviews. These are specific structured approaches to gathering evidence from the scientific and academic literature to actually make the kind of leading contribution to understanding that particular area of knowledge. Someone I recently worked with just did a brilliant project on post-stroke psychosis and has just published a paper which is actually the first um, you know, research review of post-stroke psychosis. Other people take part in epidemiological research where the data has been gathered previously, usually in large national or international um, data gathering uh, exercises, and they're looking in these big data sets for uh, understanding of mental health problems as they appear in the population and what they tell us about some of the things that may cause those problems. Some of the other projects are collecting data, running experiments, really uh, you know, taking part in research, which is um, you know, doing new research and collecting that research, uh, collecting that data um, for the very first time. Well, the first thing to say is students are free to go out and arrange their own project with someone they've uh, you know, work they follow or uh, you know, have agreed to work with. However, we make sure every year that there is a list of projects which are being offered to MSc students, and every year there are more projects than there are students. But what we ask students to do is put in their first four preferences of which projects they'd like to do, and then we try as best as pos possible to match those projects to the students. The vast majority of students get their first choices. Some projects just tend to be incredibly popular, but with four choices, um, you know, almost exclusively, kind of 99 or 98% of students get one of their uh, um, four choices.